talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! It could rain in one place and not the other, though. Your bobber is your bobber's all the way down here. Yeah, you're all the way out the other side, like five feet down here. My gosh, I knew it wasn't mine because mine are on the bottom. <laughs> oh man yeah oh yeah i guarantee they're hiding in there out of that sun i'm about to put a bobber on because they just keep stealing mine i've caught them out of here before so i know they're in here just worms somebody left a dead fish sitting on crappie all right she caught a crappie on a worm my gosh Oh yeah, they love these cypress trees like that. If you can target them. It's just the water's so muddy, it's hard to get them. That's a nice little crappie. She caught a crappie. Oh, worm, guys. I, I make videos, I got my camera on. I, YouTuber, yeah. All right, she got a little six inch black crappie. That's a weird, for a black crappie to be in this water, it'd usually be a white crappie. But hey, I ain't gonna question it. At least we're catching them. Man, yeah, if you get a little bluegill, I'm using it for bait. I'm going to cut it in half with a knife, like one like the, somebody laid on the road over there. Just a little tiny bluegill. Let me know. Already got a bite on this one. As soon as I put it in the water, and the other one, nothing's messed with it. Now that's weird. What do you got? Oh yeah. Hey, I ought to use that for bait. Don't you think? Yeah, I need to cut its head off. I'm gonna use it for cut bait. <clears throat> Both in like cut bait. It'll keep the other things off. Now my yellow one had a bite. Yeah. It's a big channel cat, I think. Bullhead. God. Not a bad size one, but still. That's what's stealing my worms right there guaranteed that's what's been doing it all right folks i got the dreaded bullhead catfish the kind nobody wants so far we're getting a variety though crappie bluegill and now what yeah Did you hear that? Oh, what do you got? I think you got a gar. It's going sideways. Oh, that's a big bluegill. Wow. Whoa. Oh my God. That's a trophy bluegill for a place like this. Folks, she just got a one hell of a bluegill, eight incher. Wow. 
This place is starting to amaze me now, isn't it? We gotta put the canoe in here again. My God. Yeah, that's a big blue hill. Yeah, you hold it, hold it, and I'll take it. I'll zoom in. Wilma got a really nice bluegill, guys. Make it where you can not cover in the whole thing, yeah. Oh. We didn't know there was bluegill in here this big. And now we know there's black crappie. You're right in the sun. You need to go that, that side. Good bluegill, man. Hey, at least we're getting stuff. May not be getting both in yet, but we're getting something. I think the bobber is the better answer, maybe. You seem to be doing better on the bobber than I am on the bottom. Oh, just throw it back. It's okay. Just walk over and drop it down then. That's a nice bluegill, definitely. That is a nice one. Real nice. Got it. Finally. Completely stole my worm. Yeah. Not a bad guy. All right, I gotta fix these two up cast them out one more time. It, I know the bullheads will hit it, but I gotta increase my chance. Your bobber's over here again. There's something. Oh man. Another bluegill, folks. I'm just hoping that if I keep doing this, it one will eventually be a bowfin. Oh, I got a bite on the green pole. Got it. I think it's a bullhead though. Yep. God. Probably swallowed the damn hook. All right, two fish within 30 seconds, though. Gosh. Ah, Here. There we go. Oh, he got off. Oh, he's back on. Got it. All right, folks, first fish it is a little largemouth. All right, trying a new swim bait today. I don't remember the name right now. It's big, big man bite or big man bait. Can't remember the name of it. It's half black, half white, three and a half inch or a quarter ounce jig head. Kind of looks like a shad. Little bitty guy is about 10 inches, if that. All right, let's get him back in. He bit it like three times before he hooked. All right, folks, I got my second fish. A little long here. Big, bloated, and pregnant. Really fat pot belly on her. So. You know long here. Jigging red wigglers at a bridge pillar. What we're doing right now. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same word.
All right, I got a goggle eye, guys. Not a big one, but it is a goggle eye. It's looking hopeful now. He's about a little six incher. And it is a shadow bass. Yes, I knew they were in here. All right, little shadow bass, six inches. Honey, goggle eye. On a half a worm. All right, second goggle eye. This one's even smaller. It's a little four incher. But it is a goggle eye, the targeted species. Four inches. Alright, goggle eye number three, and it got smaller than the second one. Started off six inches, then four, now I got a three. <laughs> it's a baby one. <laughs> look, honey, look. <laughs> All right, baby got the lie. Was that a fish? Regular bluegill, guys. Regular bluegill. First regular bluegill of the day. That's four kinds. It's not big, not small. All right, folks. Wilma caught a horny head. Does it got a red dot by its eye or no? It's a male, spawning male horny head. Like I caught on the last video good job on yep horny head chub Did you see that? Honey? Huh? You didn't see it? Big smallmouth came up after it. Oh my God, you weren't watching? Smallmouth and there was another one following it. Did you see the other fish following? I wanna to try to get the other one. There was one or two other ones following him. The, oh man. God. You got, yeah, you do. On the bobber. What? Oh, my, on a worm? She had two fish at the same time, guys. This, she had a smallmouth on a curly tip. The only reason I didn't say anything is because that's the one I thought you was reeling in was your bobber. She had a smallmouth on a worm and bobber, and she had one on a uh, swim bait, and I thought she was reeling in the bobber because I seen it going up and down, not realizing she had two fish. the anchor down. Alright guys, about a, about a 12 incher. Not too bad. I'm gonna get her back in. There we go. 
I'm on one. Yes. All right, guys, I switched to a white three inch curly tail, the old reliable, the most universal lure there is because nothing else seemed to be working. Uh, of course, it is midday and we had a front come through, but it never rained. It came through real fast for like 20 minutes and it was real windy. Nice little smallie using a quarter ounce mustard jig head and a three inch yum white curly tail. It's the old reliable when nothing, when all else fails because I'm wanting to get a goggle eye. And it's really hard to worm fish even though I know they would bite them. All right, another smallie. We're starting to get them now. Herman Bobber, it's a bluegill, regular bluegill. <laughs> hey, that ain't bad. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Folks, I got a largemouth on the Rebel Crawdad, the deep wee with a red bottom. I was about to give up on this lure. It's been real slow. Of course, it's the evening bite probably about to pick up. And uh, finally got one. First fish in probably three hours. Pretty bad. On the deep wee Rebel Craw with a red bottom. Largemouth bass. About 10 inches, not very big. I knew there'd be some fish in here though. I knew it, I knew it. You can't get to him, you can't get to him. the wood. About four foot deep maybe. Little bass. Not enough rocks for small mouth. Too much wood, not enough rock. More large mouth. Other kind. I'm going to be paddling real hard because i got to get around this tree. Oh, Wilma's caught a smallmouth. All right. She got him on the jointed Rapala crawdad imitation. Good job. Right when we was exiting. I want to just have to go to the right side of this tree. I ain't got enough time to get over. There ain't no way. They're starting to bite again because it's evening. Hold him up for us. All right. Small, small mouth, but it's fish. There we go. 
Yes. Oh yeah, large mouth. There we go, see we're on fire now. We are on fire, folks. <laughs> rebel crawl, rebel crawl. The red crawl. Oh yeah, a little better one, finally a nice bass. Actually probably a pound and a half. Not bad. A little better. I knew as soon as I set the hook on him, he was not one of them little eight inchers. All right, folks. Oh, all right, not bad at all. Way better. We may have a good two hours now, hopefully. Let me get her back in, see if we can get another one. Okay. It's alright. Alright, I'm confident in this lure now. That's four fish I've caught on it. Look at that. Poof. 